What's up everybody? Today I'm here at the church and um, it's Thursday. We had to cancel practice for tonight. As you can see we got Christmas decor. Today's the last day of November. Um, but I've got a cool cart worth of stuff here. Not really a cart worth but there's some boxes here because today I get to unbox some goodies for our electric kit. You guys know that we play um, an electric kit here at the church. It's actually pretty solid. Um, obviously, electric kits are controversial. Um, this ATV kit has worked out pretty well, though. And we've been having some problems with symbols that I'm going to talk about. Um, but I'm really excited we got some new heads today which all of ours are in okay condition. Didn't necessarily have to have new heads, um, except for the kick drum, it's pretty bad. But we got new drum tech real feel heads, which are like three ply, I'll talk about them. And I'm gonna unbox them and everything, get them all installed, and I'll tell you how it goes. Obviously, I can't really tell anything from this packaging, but it looks pretty decent. I can feel the, I can feel that it's thicker. It's, it's a three ply thing. We've always had two ply, so it's definitely thicker. I'm excited to get into it. Yep, 18 inch kick. Really excited about this one. And then as well as the, the new heads and everything, I'm, I got these new cymbals. Because I've, I've been having a strange problem with my ATVs, which the ATVs are, are like the nicest on the market. They're not very cheap at all. Um, and so I'll show you the problem that I'm having with them. But I uh, decided to go with these. These are the Roland, what's the name? Rolling, it's a CY12CT. So these are the 12 inch crash. I think it's thin crash, is what the T is. Single jack, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, you can still catch the, the rim and everything to, to mute them and stuff. Um, so I, I have no doubt that these are going to feel great because I have a rolling kit at home you know rolling makes great products obviously um, the only difference is that these are smaller our ATVs are the 14 inches for the crashes we have two of them I don't have one of them up here right now but um, if I can take this symbol off I'll show you the issue that I'm having with it I, I mean the, it performs great it feels good the the material is like noticeably softer uh, which is nice while you're playing. And, um, you know, I think this is, might be, I don't think these are, I think these are just dual zone. Um, so again, this is a 14 inch ATV crash. The problem that I'm having with it, I, I don't know if, I haven't reached out to ATV for clarification on this. I don't know if uh, maybe I've been using the wrong size sticks. Let me get away from the glare. Set this down. I don't know if I've been using the wrong size sticks or if we've just been hitting too hard, but this happened to both of them. So it's like, you know, you've got this edge, this is where you, you grab. It's got this plastic on the inside for like support, it doesn't really bend that much. And so this has just been chipping out, that's the actual electronics inside, this is all cracked up. And because of that it has triggering issues and... Um, you know, nothing on this side of the symbol is really messed up. Um, so, yeah, I've been kind of bummed about that. Again, because they're not like, I mean, they're not like crazy expensive, but I mean, when it comes to electric symbols, they're pretty high up there. And um, so that's been kind of annoying dealing with that for the last however long they've been broken. And again, it happened to both of them. So, 
anyway I'm hoping that there's some better durability on the rolling symbols and I'll have to get all that changed over in the module and everything but um yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and get all the drum heads set up and then I'll hook up the symbols all right so I've got the kit here and I'm doing new heads really the only bad head is the kick and I put patches on it and stuff it's actually been pretty annoying to kind of deal with it which it's really just me complaining I haven't really had to replace it very often the patches have been doing fine but there's just like a lot of anxiety behind like anyway I'll show you what the head looks like and you'll understand what I'm saying but first things first before I get everything installed I gotta get the kick pulled out pedal DW 2000 which is like the cheapest DW you can get let me see if I can get this to focus but it's pretty filthy anyway good opportunity to clean this stuff but now whatever gotta get the kick Carpet is filthy. There's way too much stuff back here. I gotta get cleaned up. This thing is gross. And this is nice and gross as well. I don't do this often enough, but obviously you get to clean all this stuff, keep it looking nice, especially with it all being electronic and stuff. But I'm gonna show you this uh, kick head. Obviously, I don't have to replace the resin head because it's it's just it's fake. It's not real. But on this um, this head, it's like, I think this is maybe a two-ply head. And the, it, it ripped through a long time ago. I put this patch on it. It already had another one on it. Let me pull this off. This is broken. This head has been pretty destroyed, it's Remo Silent Stroke as you can see. Um, this is a 8 10 inch kick, I believe, if I remember correctly. Anyway, so getting the drum tech on here is going to be really nice. Um, obviously it will not affect the acoustic sound as I keep saying, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how it feels, so let's get it going. this out I just discovered this one accident it's like super dusty I guess just from the beater and stuff uh, kicking up a bunch of dust got the hoop off got the head off so now I gotta put the new one on Yes, yeah, so, I mean, right now I do not have a kick drum patch on this. Uh, I, I've been playing with one since I used this felt beater. This is like a really cheap old felt beater that we just had um, because this DW pedal came with um, a hard plastic beater, which is actually kind of what you're supposed to use on mesh heads like this. What's this head? I think it's too tight. I need to loosen a little bit. Um, but I prefer to use this with the patch just because it's not as loud in the room. You know, obviously I'm not relying on this for sound. I am for triggering, but if it's really loud in the room, it, it kind of, I don't know, it ruins it. You see all these warps, I need to sort those out.
right, so I got the snare put on. And um, on the toms, I haven't changed them yet. They've still got the ATV heads on them. Um, and so these floor toms are the same size as the snare, and they're both 13 inch. And so I just want to kind of show you a sound difference real quick. I mean, nothing serious. This is just my camera audio. But like with this being three ply head, and this is a two ply head, the ATV. Let's see how it sounds. So I've got everything set up, got all the toms, got the snare, got the kick done, got some stuff vacuumed, we gotta throw all that away, got that cleaned out. So now I've just gotta set these cymbals up and then we'll see how everything feels. Alright, so I've been here for a couple of hours. It is 8 o'clock. I'm tired. And um, I finally got finished getting everything swapped over. So messy down here. Gotta pick all this stuff up, get everything cleaned up. Boxes out there and everything. Um, but I want to run you through the setup and everything here, just so it is up to date. Um, okay, so this rug, uh, I think it's Roadrunner brand. Is that logo? Better tell me on this other corner over here. I think we just got this like guitar center, simple Roadrunner drum rug. Um, ATV kit. Um, so, I'll be honest with you, I don't really know what configuration uh, they call this. Like, if you were to go to buy this exact setup, uh, I think this is the extended version of kind of their main line of kits, just because it has the, the extra floor tom. Um, a really nice ATV kit. This is a, let's see if there's a logo on there, Gibraltar. Got the focus Gibraltar drum throne. Uh, I, I would not recommend this one at all, to be honest with you. If you have the money to get something like um, uh, like a rock and sock, uh, it's definitely worth the investment. This is like half the price of a rock and sock, rock and sock, but um, I would not recommend this one. Um, all right, so yeah, so I've got the brand new. Well, they're not brand new, they're new to me, new to the church, but they're not new to the world. These drum tech real feel heads, um, they're three ply. And drum tech, they actually have other lines of heads too. They sell single ply and dual ply, I believe. Uh, I don't know what they call those specifically, but um, the real feel is supposed to give you more of an acoustic like feel, meaning like less rebound and the same sort of tension and stuff. And I've been playing them for about, I don't know, I've been sitting down here for maybe 20 minutes, just kind of filling everything out after I got it all set up. And I like them. Um, it, is, it can be a little bit of a hassle, I mean not really a hassle, but um, their drum tech is located in Germany and they don't have a US retailer, so you have to order them from Germany so that, um, you know, it's just kind of another kind of a thing to look out for, make sure you're doing that safely. Um, anyway, but I love these heads so far. Uh, right now for sticks, this is just a pair that I had. I don't know that I'm like in love with this. Chromark um, Shirakashi Oak 5A is what I'm playing right now, and they're kind of beat up. I need some more. Um, I think I showed you earlier, DW2000 kick pedal. That is just some random beater that I should probably buy a, a newer one. Um, for cymbals, this is the ATV 8 inch three zone ride cymbal. This is the only ATV cymbal that we've had that um, did not break uh, on the, the bottom of it. The, the plastic, I haven't had any issue with this one, but um, that cymbal that is sitting on top of that piano over there is broken. And then we have another one downstairs that's also broken. Um, which is why I just got these guys. Again, not a new product at all from Roland. Uh, show. 
not a new product at all, um, but these are the Roland CY, I think it's 12CT or something like that. They're the, uh, not the big ones, um, because the ATV ones that we had, it's right here on the piano. ATV ones that we had are 14 inches, I think these are 12. Um, which I thought might be kind of a bummer, but to be honest with you, I love how these are set up. These ones move a whole lot more realistically. Um, you know, they're lighter, they're like shinier somehow. I don't know if, if Roland intentionally um, put some sort of coating on there, but it kind of seems like you can kind of see the... You see that sheen on there. I actually really like it. I think it adds a lot to it. Um, ATV. Um, well, I guess I lied because I haven't had any issues with this uh, hi hat. It's got the, the top and the bottom. Um, yeah, anyway. Hardware, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what we're running. This is a Yamaha hi hat stand. I think we've got some other Yamaha stands. Our old kit was Yamaha. Uh, and then for our module for all of our sounds, Pearl Mimic Pro, running um, Steven Slate samples. Um, we run on P16s here at the church. If you're curious, my in-ears are um, 64 audio, formerly 1964 ears, which is what this is going to show. Let me get that better. It's going to show 1964 years on there. I've had them for a bunch of years. Um, and so what I just started doing is I, I have this splitter cable. It goes out of the left and the right side of the P16 and I run it into the module here. That way I can get the room sound and kind of use more features of the module. Um, and it's been sounding pretty good. And then I've just got a talk back. If you really do care, this talk back mic is a sure... Beta 87A, which in all reality is really overkill for a top of mic. It's way too expensive, but it's just one that we had sitting around. Um, anyway, so I will definitely let you guys know um, as I play these more if I grow to not like them or how everything turns out. As of right now, I'm loving the cymbals, um, they feel very sensitive. They are, um, so in the Pearl Mimic Pro, when you set everything up, you select what hardware you have so that the brain can uh, interact with the triggers accurately. And so um, it had the ATV models in there, obviously, but um, it also had these Rollins in there. And so I have zero complaints. I'm really enjoying them. And the real fill heads, I think they look great. Um, they are a little louder acoustically, which, um, you know, Maybe that matters depending on where you're playing at. Like if you're playing at home and you want to get these at home, then maybe it's a little bit more annoying um, for who else lives with you. So, um, anyway, uh, it's Christmas time. We've got the pretty lights and everything, and I've got to get the rest of the church cleaned up. So, thank you guys so much for checking this out. Please check out my other videos. I've been posting some shorts too. Um, and so I'm going to do a final like playthrough, let you hear a little bit of audio. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.